All right, y'all, something fun, something a little bit different. I'm uh, down here in Cary, North Carolina, and I have a uh, Holy Mountain printing right behind me. So I'm gonna go in, chill out with Joel, and uh, give you guys a little bit of a tour. I'm gonna try to keep it a little small because I just wanna hang out with Joel, but uh, I'm very curious about the interior of Holy Mountain, and I'm sure you guys are too. All right, so here we are at the, uh, the Great Holy Mountain 1D right here, and then you can see me hanging out. Got some rad stuff, we'll see where Joel is at. What do you know? It's Joel. Hey! hey! It's everybody's favorite guy. So I'm here in Holy Mountain. You guys saw me try to go in the front door, but I just wanted to give you a quick tour. Joel already hung out with me, and I also I can film the whole time. I just want to hang out with him, which is super chill. Sorry about the cursors. Yeah. It's Lego Voltron, man. This thing's badass. So this is site. I'll do the narration for Joel since he already gave it to me. This is his uh, toy photo area. This is where I assume a lot of your images go to, or do you have yeah. a second? Yeah, this is, uh, I have a small setup at home, but this is where almost everything gets filmed. All the product shots, all toy photography, even like unboxing videos, this is like a drop down setup. Tight. And it all gets, all gets done here. And for anybody who's down with the orientation, that's the side door I came into versus yeah, the front yeah. door. Got some cool skate decks up here, Jet Jaguar, um, some other OG art. This actually, Joel pointed out in the corner, came from one of their screen printers. He's pulling something out. What is yeah, this? Oh, hell yeah. little shop deck here. This is super dope. This is one of the first ones we've had. Um, a lot of this stuff we have is original art from whether it be artists we work with, uh, Jeff from Leviathan did those decks. We've got Jeff Zorno. Original Godzilla art, you know, woodcut blocks, all kinds of shit. Yeah, this camera print was super tight that he it's showed me. Badass. Is all the stuff available on uh, Holy Mountain or? No, this yeah. is all this is all one ofs. Yeah, um, we used to sell that print years ago. We might we actually might bring something like that back. This is our, I can't wait to do this with Frank. By the way, I've already been looking yeah, up like Yeah, this all is that. one of our design. This is our uh, other designer, Olivia. It's her desk, and she's super into like cars and shit. Right on. Initial D, obviously. And this is uh, this is Danny, the other this big is the name. Captain's desk. The captain's chair right here. Yeah. Cap captain Clark. Got the uh, Jacob Bannon's uh, one of the. This is the original. Wow. Uh, he did it for the Kaiju Art Show. Uh, signed Ultraman suit actor prints. Um, Ryan Wilson. Ryan Wilson. Wait, Ryan. Okay. Wilson? No, this is our guy. Yeah. Yes. No, Brian. No. No, Ryan. Just is it Robert? Robert. God. Yes, Robert <laughs> Wilson. We have a fuck ton of shit from him because one, he's a fucking dude. He's great. And and I missed out meeting him uh, when I was at SCGMC. Danny met him and bought a bunch of originals from him too. That's great. There's gonna be some. I know. He did, he did your art. Yeah. Your shirt. He's he's, he's my he's, guy. Well, he's gonna do some art. He's for us your guy now. now. Yeah. <laughs> So all kinds, I mean, this is all the owner's collection. This um, is great. This is actually really fucking cool. This is uh, one of many prints made from one of the artists in Ghana, I believe. Oh, wow. Um, they do these great movie posters uh, that are like, they're not parodies because they get sent a sentence description of what the movie is and they just draw it from there. That's so cool. Um, that guy's stuff is amazing. I can't remember the name, but I'll send it to you so you can yeah, for it sure. in the link. But. Uh, Shogun Warriors, Godzilla, Hellraiser. Yeah. We've seen a lot of the stuff. stuff on your feed, so I wanted to just show everybody kind of behind the scenes where it hangs out. There's also this other really kick ass cage right it's here. Cage. We got the, um, I forgot what his name is, Big, uh, Big, Big Chap. Big Chap. That's yeah, Big Chap, that's right? The OG original. From Kenner. Yeah, that's so funny that they marketed this toy towards children in 1979. Yeah, but that's fucking terrible. I, I love like the bonkers 80s type stuff. Got a bunch of cool Robotech stuff here too. And then we got OG G1 Transformers. Even some OG uh, Toy Biz Uncanny X. Dude, this is all my jam. Danny and I, yeah. we get along so well. Like I've got a Bishop X Men figure, and then I've got a. Jazz is the only like most expensive Transformer toy that I've yeah. bought. Yeah. Old uh, um, Chuck Norris Ninja action. Oh, figure. heck yeah. I didn't give you the tour of my basement, but I have like over the top figures. I am wearing the over the top hat right now. Yeah. Um, I have some other cool stuff. And then this is the oh, this yes. is the Joel workstation. Yeah. So who knew? Right here, there's the uh, the cutting mat board. I what can only assume. Man? Yeah, actually, for no, sure. that's our that's our shop board. The oh. that one's at home. <laughs> we actually we actually do all the recording for the cutting mat in the house. Uh, we're setting up a studio in the house, but we got all the same gear and stuff uh, for the Holy Mountain printing podcast and. Star Wars ships and cameras and my, like my little of, toy collection here. Got the Wu Tang Optimus right Wu -Tang, here. Yeah. He, he's obviously a Perceptor guy. You're the most yeah. Perceptor Transformer ever. I'm a Perceptor dude. <laughs> Perceptor and then the rest of it's all Decepticons as there's an Astro train sitting there. Do you guys record the Holy Mountain podcast in here? Yeah, too? we do it here. Oh, um, this is just full of our 
Uh, we did a t-shirt for uh, charity for ACLU, and each order comes with like comic books. So right on. We're sorting this here, but this is our, our round table uh, that we do in the podcast. And we do it in here. Uh, we're starting to do video once there's a lot of cool shit around. So yeah, like you're, you're pretty back. close. And this is the, the this is poster printer. Got this, and then Joel told me a story. This is the OG print, so this is what yeah, kicked, it's one of the kicked first it all off. We By did. the way, for any of you guys who've not seen Gleaming the Cube, it is a phenomenal time capsule of 1980s, so uh, and be sure to check it out. you can get a poster and a sticker. Hell so yeah. haven't shown up yet. Got a couple other kind of cool things in here, but yeah, yeah hanging out. Guys, More Hellraiser. I liked, what else did I notice when I was hanging in here? Oh yes, and this is also, we keep our toys that don't fit <laughs> There's plenty of toy shelves in here. Yeah, and then uh, this is where the magic happens. Yeah, we saw this. This is super rad. This is where your shirts were first and conceived. That's true. Right here. First from my head, then to Robert Wilson, then to Joel. Then, yeah, now, yeah. now on your chest and shirt available hey, for purchase. <laughs> So this is cool. He showed me this is their uh, their um, OG printer, and they got a really super kick-ass turbocharged one coming from Europe sometime <laughs> soon. Yeah, for sure. And they'll be always put uh, miraculously the banner company we work with always fucks up something with their banner, so we <laughs> just get extras and hang them up in here. Hey, this is the perfect space to do it. Some cool stuff. Joel uh, gave me a tour of the paints too, so uh, I learned a little bit about screen printing. Namely, this is uh, not done with water-based paints. That's a Plus lot harder. This is all plastisol. Water is cool, but yeah. it's a little bit harder. It has its uses, but we, for production reasons, there's a difference between like fine art printing and production printing. We kind of lean a little bit more towards the production end, except for like we do like posters and shit. And this is all storage. Nothing that Hey, fun. it's a warehouse. Hello. Yeah, there's a second warehouse that's under construction right now. And I love turtles, but no, no <laughs> You gotta be fast. That was that was a nickel tour of yes. Holy Mountain. It was super cool to come here. If you guys are ever in North Carolina, obviously shoot so Joel. Out. Yeah, he said the only thing you have to do is take a shower before you come. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna put that under a snap test later and try yeah, to figure out. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but we're gonna go to Hangar 18. We're gonna go to Hangar 18. We're gonna keep this thing rolling. You keep it going. All right. All right, so part two of our uh, adventure, maybe we'll do a three and a four, is visiting, that's right, Hangar 18. So, sunglasses, it's sunny outside. Let's go check it out. Let's see what's what at Hangar 18. We, we, we uh, doubled, about doubled the square footage and certainly quadrupled the Gundams. <laughs> God, that was oh, yeah, I can't yeah, imagine why. why. Why would we, yeah. you know, I mean. I've never heard they're just, of it. There's like probably not a market, you know. It's no, like experimental, no. yeah. It's a, to it's see how it goes. <laughs> Niche hobby. Yeah, it's very, very niche. <laughs> yeah. Do uh, yeah. you wanna? Yeah, let's okay. hang out. So I mean, here's miniature stuff, RC stuff, Scout. Yep. The scout, yeah. the shop cat. Shop, shop cat. cat. Naturally. Paint supplies, everything. This place is here. awesome. Everything from Games Workshop to Tamiya to Mr. Uh, Color. Everything uh, between uh, this. Uh, this. This is what's room. what. I feel like you had a hand in designing this or making this happen. Tad bit. Tad bit. I know the whole crew, all hands on deck, came here to get everything stocked, yeah, right? Yeah, that was a uh, crazy couple of weeks, but I, I would, I would, I can confidently say the largest stock in North Carolina. Yeah. I would have to see, I mean, obviously USA Gun, I'm playing it, you know. Sure, yeah. Like that are a lot bigger because it's a warehouse, but like retail, brick and mortar. Oh, yeah. This, this is the, this is the spot. Like the thing about this, all this stock, everything involves Constantly. Yeah. I mean, just yesterday, they got a shipment in here. Uh, we have a Facebook yeah. team. And every time a shipment comes in, they'll post a big, I mean, a big picture of the table full. Yeah, tables. I feel like I've seen this table before. Yeah, this is usually, yeah, they'll do it here. And I also like there's a lot of printers hanging out here, too. Yeah, a lot of 3D printing happening. And that whole stack will be gone. For wow. The day. So That's awesome. Like Everything from, and the cool thing is, too, you don't see this a lot. And, um, the amount of frame arms, oh, not yeah, just yeah. girl, but like actual MSG frame arms. Yeah. Uh, the, the, some of the original frame arm stuff, the frames in here. Um, you know, obviously stuff like the new missions, Common Rider. Uh, if you want MSG, which I do, I think I have some pull in the back. 
Uh, this you got your spot. own like pull pull box oh, like yeah, in yeah, comics. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, kind of like a subscription base, and then even all more stuff like Godzilla kits, Star Trek. Yeah, uh, I like Star Wars. I'm really into these polar light kits. I got my boy Jason into that, and then same thing too. I've had that 2001. Yeah, kinda thinking about that. Who knows? I might even shock the world and buy a kit. I know. But, uh, the day you buy something, I mean Star Wars too. This is like I haven't seen much other places that have this big of a. Uh, Star Wars selection. Oh, we got one one Master Gundam left down there too. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, even this is... uh, stuff like uh, all sim stuff. I'd even go so far to say it's like I don't think I've been to a hobby store in North America like that is like this densely packed and like represents so many communities yeah. with like because it's not just I mean you go to like most hobby towns and you get like right this section you don't get the Kotobukiya you don't get you don't get resin conversion kits yeah that you can buy off this the guy's shelf. local too right he's North Carolina uh, Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte yeah Charlotte yeah, yeah. Uh, detail parts weapons yeah i mean if you're gonna go to the markers there's that i mean even crazy stuff like this no this is like a must Salt must King. stop oh yeah man i've like, never seen i've only seen that at conventions before yeah. uh high resolution models the master grade section too i mean like most shops they get like two two or three in you know there's a master grade <laughs> uh -oh. what? <laughs> look at that oh yeah i think that's like somewhat somewhat recent I was like, this is the older one. This is oh, like never the, mind. This, yeah. this is the first. What do I know? Right I don't know anything about this. Because this is when they did the Kamen Rider Master Raids that I finally got all of them. Well, this is tight. I'm going to stop filming. Joel and I are going to hang out here. Maybe I'll come back and uh, hang out with you all a little bit more. All right, y'all. So it was fun uh, palling around with Joel, checking out uh, Holy Mountain. It was super, super dope going in there. Um, if you guys are ever in the Raleigh, North Carolina area, be sure to hit him up. And then also be sure to hit behind me, Angry 18. Super cool hobby store. Probably one of the, the best that I've been to in North America. It's it's awesome. And compared to the old one, which was probably a third or half of the size, this one's giant and has a ton of great resources. I bought um, some stuff. I might open it up later on and show y'all. Uh, and or when I'm back in DC, I'll, I'll pull it on my bench. But I hope you enjoyed kicking around with me and Joel for the day in and around Raleigh, North Carolina. And if you guys are here, I hope you guys are able to check out any of this stuff. Be well and uh, keep it macho. <laughs> That's just Chewbacca. <laughs> That's just Chewbacca like, sound. Coughing up a hairball.